Hey guys, this is Adam and you're watching an OrcadX how-to video. In today's video, we're going to talk about a fairly simple topic, which is how to set up your OrcadX environment so that you can use OrcadX Presto as your uh, PCB layout tool. Now, OrcadX Presto came out in, I believe, our 23.1 release. In 24.1, we brought in a lot of really good functionality and you're gonna keep seeing some really cool features coming to Presto in the future. Now, I have here a schematic, which we're going to be looking at. Um, we just wanna make sure that when we use features such as the update layout, or if we're creating a new board, that it opens it up automatically in Presto, and that, we're also have, and that we also have access to features such as you know, cross-probing between our schematic and layout, and that we can you know, uh, basically easily do everything that you need to do between a schematic and a layout document. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is when you're in a schematic, go into PCB and then select Design Sync Setup. Now, the default layout folder here is usually called Allegro. What I've done is gone ahead and changed it to Presto, but when you're in the folder for your uh, project, you wanna make sure that um, you, know, you, you name it whatever you need it to be um, to match your design standards. The only other option that we really need to change in this form is the select layout tool. Now again, by default, this is set to PCB editor, but you want to select this ORCAD X Presto option and then basically go ahead and click OK. What this is going to do is if we go into PCB and select new layout, again, here's that default folder, which we set as Presto. And then what I can do is uh, add a new board and call it, for example, um, let's call this how to underscore demo video. Click OK. And as you can see, it automatically launches our new board file in ORCAD X Presto. Now there's a couple things that we can configure here to make sure that we can take advantage of features such as cross probing and the update layout. So the first thing I wanna test out is make sure that I can actually place components. Um, we can go into the move command, right click, go into the place command, and then in my search bar, let's go ahead and select, um, let's do one of these ICs. So U2, place it, maybe U4, place that as well. All right, so the next thing we wanna double check is just to make sure that we can cross probe between the schematic and the layout. Uh, very simply, if you look in the bottom right corner, there should be an auto X probe switch. Just make sure that this is turned on. You can just toggle it by left clicking. If we go into our schematic and we select, for example, this IC called U7, we should then expect it to get highlighted in the PCB document. Awesome. Final thing that we need to look at is also making sure that we can update the layout uh, rather than having to create a new layout every time. If we jump back into uh, ORCADX Capture, again, if you look in this PCB dropdown, we have new layout, which we used before to create a new PCB document, or we can use update layout to basically synchronize the netlist between the schematic and the layout. Now, right now there are no connectivity differences to show. Uh, we can force a connectivity difference simply by, for example, if we look at this uh, reference designator for this resistor, we can change it to R99, click OK. Let's go ahead and save our document and then go to PCB update layout. Or if you like using the icons at the top, there's also this update layout icon right here. And you'll notice that it says, um, you know, edit reference designator R12 is being changed to R99. Now, the nice thing is that once we make these changes or when we go to apply these changes, we don't actually need to close uh, Presto. And to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and place that R12. Let's go ahead and find that in our design. And we should expect it to change to R99 without having to close it and reopen. So again, from capture, let's go ahead and sync and should be done. There you go, R99. 
Now the nice thing is, is that you can also do this from just Presto without having to open Capture. So for example, if you are the PCB uh, layout engineer and someone else is doing the schematic in ORCAD, let's say that they changed you know, this R99 to R101 and then they saved it. As, lo as long as you have access to where this schematic is and that connection is made between the layout and the schematic, you can invoke actually the same change or the same ECO through ORCAD Expresto by going to uh, ECO and then sele selecting Update PCB. And you'll notice that uh, this form actually looks very familiar to what we had before. And then go ahead and click on Sync. If there's any issues, you can actually look at this netrev.lst. Um, looks like I have uh, some packager files that are not being found. But you can go ahead and resolve those one by one depending on what errors you might have. But that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, if you'd like to see anything else done in a how-to format, please also leave a comment and let us know uh, what sort of content you guys would like to see. And uh, that's it. Again, thanks for watching and goodbye.